What's good? We back with the Boston Clinic. Good morning, your boy CJ Goodfellow. They think we stupid. They think we dumb. They think we don't see through what they doing, man. Basically, this was a glorified rescheduling between Triple G and Canelo, Canelo Alvarez, man. Basically, they gonna fight September fifteenth, um, in Vegas. You know, they still gonna do it in Vegas. They just pushed the fight back a few months. It didn't really matter. Like I said, in other sports, when fight when uh, athletes get injured. You know, they suspension don't start until they clear to their injury. That's what, you know, usually that is what it is in the NFL and the NBA. Basically, Canelo removed a cyst from his knee, just as, you know, Andre Ward removed, uh, like, a sack of fluid assist from his knee. And, you know, he's going to recover. Probably won't take long. And then he's going to come back and fight Triple G in September. You know, after he just got a slap on the wrist. And, you know, I just don't, I don't really care about water testing and random drug testing no more, man. You know, all these guys keep coming back, 6 months suspension, keep coming back, pissing, dropping dirty, and, and being dirty continuously, and they keep getting away with it. it it's, it's, a, it's a crime that, that that people just keep getting probation for, and not even a misdemeanor for. It just keeps slipping under the rug. And at the end of the day, man, let just stop the testing. If we're not going to ban people, we're just going to give people special treatment based on the, the revenue they bring, the boxing, the popularity they, br- they bring. You know, people say... In the comment section. Oh, you know, how do you know Canelo is dirty? He's a dumb motherfucker if you don't believe he's dirty, man. Look at these before and after pictures, bro. Look at him leading up to the open workout with Golovkin. You know, neck big as hell, arms big as hell, everything big, okay? Then look at him, you know, coming into the rematch with, with Golovkin. He all skinny, flat, you know, he, he he lean. And like I said, man, a real motherfucker that know body fitness and body finesse, body finesse no, he cheated, man. This is just a corrupt system. It's a corrupt sport, man. And it, it is what it, it is, man. I believe that they was fixing fights back in the day. I believe they still doing it today. You know, he was been juicing. Even maybe even the dude came out here. He was Harry Reid, the senator said Mayweather said he always was juicing. You know, but y'all, y'all, that's what y'all believe. What y'all want to believe? You want to be naive enough to believe this motherfucker is a clean fighter? And, and these dudes, oh Mexican, Mexican meat, Mexican meat, Mexican meat. You know, man, I'm believing that bullshit, man. I don't believe in that blue raw in the Mexican meat shit, man. They need an the advantage to, to, to compete. And that's sad, though. And I said, do I feel bad for Triple G? Fuck no. Fuck him, too. <laughs> His trainer, you know, doing commercials, bashing Canelo Alvarez. But this guy, Carlo Carradas, um, Quadres, was, was, was fucking juicing. You know, acne all his, up his back. You know, like I said, don't throw stones if you live in a glass house. You know, and they basically just rescheduled this fight, man. You know, is it a chance that Giggs by Kozelvin can be the opponent September 15th? Yeah. But like I told you guys, all this shit, man, was 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 classic golden promo for the next fight. All this cheating shit just made the next fight that much bigger. People still going to buy it, still going to support it. It's going to have way more traction. That was just the greatest marketing, negative marketing term that's going to turn positive marketing for this fight, man. It just made that fight this that much bigger. Like I told you, man, a lot of these guys not going to ride these guys that they should. A lot of the new media that got a big voice. I mean, the old media got a big voice. And some of the new media won't won't really show you how fucked up this decision was to only suspend him for six months. Like I said, this is just a a, a, a fucking bookmark in, in boxing history right here. Like I said, you know, Margarito cheated with hand wraps in his hand. He was continue able to, he was able to box. And all these motherfuckers that was juicing and got away with it, they swept it under the rug and... You know, it is what it is. Boxing is a frustrating sport because there's nothing proactive being done to make sure all these fighters on the even playing field, man. You got Fury that was juicing, man. You got all, you know, Ortiz that was juicing, Luis Neri that was juicing, Carlos Quadres that was juicing. You know, Alexander Fabekin got popped twice and still became the mandatory in two belt sanctioned belt bodies and, and possibly could have been three. I mean,. You know what's frustrating, dog? It really is, man. And if it wasn't for Floyd starting this random drug test shit, man, you never know, you know, what type of uneven playing field motherfuckers was on was on in the past. But basically this this fight was basically just rescheduled, man. And Vegas still showed that the money was bigger than than the the issue. You know, he still Canelo still saying he innocent motherfucker. We know you're not innocent. Nigga, biggest fraud in the game. This motherfucker the Rick Ross of boxing, dog. <laughs> you people know know what I mean, dog. You know what I'm saying? And Golovkin ain't shit, but a but a bend over boy and taking it from behind. He gonna take it from behind in this fight too. He gonna be a seaside in this fight too. 
he gonna be he gonna be one bill less than the IBF. Hopefully the IBF stripping for the violence fight because if they don't strip him, they can eat a dick because they want to be the strictest sanction belt body. They didn't sanction the fight. He didn't fight Shazanko. He didn't fight an approved opponent. He should be stripped. This fight should only, should only be for the WC and the WBA. And if you look at it, you know he ain't beat nobody for them two belts. So like I said, this is a fraud fest. These du- dudes ain't two of the monks best in box, best in boxing. They not. He's not the two best boxers in boxing. You know. Popularity-wise, yeah, they got a fan following in Canelo Alvarez. He pulled in the entire the entire power. Triple G bring a little bit of pulling power, but he ain't shit. He couldn't even fight in Vegas without Canelo. They don't want him in Vegas because he ain't fighting nobody. You know? There's several middleweights that I believe will smash the fuck out of both of them. But it is what it is, man. This is what they want. You know, people going to continue to buy it because of the controversy that surrounds it. This was the best promo that Golden Boy and K2 could could you know could even made they couldn't even buy this promo. This was was created. It was an organized mess, an organized storm that's gonna turn around into a lot of money for them. These guys don't care about the betterment of the sport. They don't care about leaving the sport better than what they found it. And people say that about Mayweather. Oh, he's born, he's this, he that, whatever it is. At the end of the day, you can say anything about Floyd Mayweather, but guess what? He left the sport better than when he found it with the random drug testing. He did. He did. He got the sport better than when he found it with the random drug testing, the Nevada drug testing, the USADA Olympic style drug testing. He exposed a lot of these motherfuckers. Even some of his saying his fighters got pop for diuretics and stuff of that nature. But that's the nature of the beast. You know, y'all just gonna continue to support these cheating ass motherfuckers, and they gonna continue to let the Marguerite Cheetos and the Pavekins and all these cheating motherfuckers go. And that's one thing I can say about the UK. They don't play about that shit. Even though they kind of covered for Tyson Fury a little bit. People believing it was cocaine. That motherfucker was cheating. And I don't never let a cheater slide. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, what can you do, man? What can you do? Boxing is boxing. You know, the sport is the sport. You know, you know they just going to make this fight this much bigger. They just pushed it back and made it that much bigger. Would I support this fight, man? Fuck no, I'm not spending no money on this fight. You know, I'm not. I might not even cover this fight no more unless something significant happen. You know what? I hope Vanez knocked the fuck out of Triple G out. Hell yeah. Do I hope Canelo fucking wake up and and he can't box no more? Fuck yeah. That's how I feel. Cause he's a cheating fucking f- fucker. He's a cheater. And Golovkin is a fucking hypocrite. His whole career is based on a hypocrite and built up off a of lot of beating subpar boxers. The motherfucker ain't never had a hard championship fight. That he won a belt for. All his belts was basically a walkthrough was a given to him. He ain't had no resistance in his whole career. And I've been seeing that shit since day one. Motherfuckers been calling me crazy. You know what I'm saying? Canelo was a fucking cheater. He know Canelo cheat. He just want to check. You all say, oh, man, was only, you know, chase money. These motherfuck- this motherfucker love him chasing money. Period. You know, but it is what it is. It's the Boxing Link and more. We keep a trill. Shout out to the LDBC, YTBC, everybody.